What's up everyone? My name is Sam Oler and in today's video we are going to be touring a beautiful property over in Fairview Park, Ohio. Now Fairview Park is just a little bit southwest of Cleveland. Now this home comes with three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and 2200 square feet. So you're going to fit a family in there very comfortably. Now this home has had a decent bit of work done to it with a brand new kitchen and a new bathroom upstairs. So it's going to be very turnkey for anyone who decides to move into it. And this home has about the same drive to Fairview Shopping Center compared to Great Northern Mall. So either place you go, you can't really go wrong, but it's got an abundance of shopping around it. And if you want to enjoy some outdoor shopping, Crocker Park is just 15 minutes further west. If you find yourself looking in the Fairview area or even the areas around it, I handle everything that surrounds Cleveland, so feel free to reach out to me. You can find all of my contact information down in the description below. But I don't want to talk anymore. I want you to see this beautiful home. So let's get started on that walkthrough. As always, we are going to start with a view of the outside of the home just so you get an idea of what it looks like. And this home, you enter into a little hallway where you have the choice to go upstairs, straight into the kitchen, or into the living room. And in this case, we're going to go straight into the living room. Something I find cool about this home is that the investor ended up actually refinishing the hardwood floors instead of laying a vinyl or carpet over them, and I really appreciate that because these look amazing. As we work our way further into the living room, the dining room is adjacent to it, which also connects to the kitchen, and connecting into the kitchen, you've got a little island that you can use to either eat at or store drinks, serve food. you got a lot of different options for what you can do with it. Now in this kitchen, you do have brand new stainless steel appliances. You've got your microwave, dishwasher, oven, and a fridge. Now they replaced all the original cabinets with new white shaker cabinets, and this gives it a really sleek look with the granite countertops in my opinion, and also that subway tile backsplash. And having all three of those things makes for the perfect recipe to have a very clean feeling kitchen. Now along with that knee wall that you can use for serving or eating at, you also have a really big sized island and you don't normally get that in these areas with these older homes, but they ended up putting one when they were doing all of the renovations on this and it makes for an amazing opportunity to have more counter space so that you can prepare your food easier and not have to run back and forth. It's just as simple as turning around to move it to the next place. As we work our way out of the kitchen, you have a step down that leads you to your half bath, which has got shiplap walls, a pedestal sink, and a toilet, which you will commonly find in other bathrooms. Now, as we work our way out of the half bath, you will find yourself transitioning into the family room. Now it's carpeted in here, so it's gonna give it a little bit warmer feeling than having the laminate in the kitchen or the wood in the living room, but it also has a fireplace and some built-in bookshelves which gives it a sophisticated feeling, especially if you are there reading a book by the fire, just hanging out on the couch. Here's a quick view of the backyard and what you have to work with. Now, it is pretty wooded back in here and you've got a little bit of a brick patio, but there's not too much as far as amenities in that backyard. So if you do wanna have like some sort of porch or deck, you're gonna to have to either build it yourself or hire out and have someone do it for you. Now, the other door that is in this living area leads out to an enclosed porch which is another bonus that this backyard has. And as we start to work our way out of the family room, you get another view of the fireplace and the bay window that overlooks the backyard. So we're working our way back to the room that we came from, and this is going to have access to the garage as well, and that is going to be our next destination. It's just through these doors off to the left, and it's a pretty quick, easy access so you don't have to take your groceries too far to get into the kitchen. Now, this garage is a pretty basic garage. The investor didn't really do anything in here, but it is drywalled, which is nice because there's probably insulation behind that drywall, so if you put some sort of heater in there, it would retain heat. Now, working our way down into the basement, it's a very open basement where you have your utilities and your mechanicals, and other than that, it's not really useful for much else unless you wanna store stuff down there, or if you finish it, it gets you some added living space. Now working our way back through the kitchen, you'll notice that there is an undermount sink, which I forgot to mention before, but this design gives the countertop a very unified feeling to where you're not interrupted by a sink that is sitting on top of it. It just flows right down into it and then back up and into the countertop, which I really like but we're gonna work our way back forward and here's the living room again. It's just off of the entrance of the house and it's gonna also lead us back up into the area where all the bedrooms are, which are on the second floor of the home. 
There's also a coat closet as soon as you walk in the door so that way you could store your shoes and coats and working our way up the carpeted stairs. You'll arrive to the same wooden floors that are in the living room finished the exact same way. And at the top of the stairs you will find the bathroom which has a refinished tub and they left the same shower surround in there which I was pretty surprised about because they put all this effort into the other areas. I figured they would have at least replaced that as well. Now the floors in this room are a wooden textured tile and just like the other bathroom you are going to have more shiplap along with a 48 inch vanity that is brand new with the same granite countertops that are in the kitchen and working our way further down the hall you're heading towards the first bedroom which is carpeted and it's got a new fresh paint job with a double hung window and a good sized closet. And that closet is a bifolding door, and I believe that's 48 inches wide, so it's going to give you a ton of space to store your clothes. Now working our way further down the hallway, all the other rooms are also carpeted, and you're going to find the same bifold doors, except for in the very last room, which is connected to the bathroom. Now the way the bathroom was built, I'm assuming that is why they could not account for a bigger closet, but... That's just one of those things where you have to have a little bit of give and take. If you have a bigger, nicer bathroom, you're going to have a little bit less space somewhere else. And in this case, it was this bedroom's closet. Now, as we work our way a little bit further into the bedroom, I wanted to show you a different view of the bathroom, just kind of what to expect as if you were living here. And that shower is the first thing that you see if you walk in from the bedroom, which will lead you to the sink and the toilet. So we're going to work our way back out through the hallway that we came through just to give you an idea of what it looks like in the reverse way. And we'll make our way back downstairs and start to finish up this walkthrough as we check out the kitchen and the living room and the dining room one more time. Now if outdoor activities are your thing, this area is going to be for you. It's right next to the Rocky River Reservation, which has a ton of hiking and trails that you can go hang out at. And along with that, you are really close to the Cleveland Airport. So getting there is just a breeze. You only have to get on the highway for a solid five minutes and then you're there. Now, if you're not much of a nature person, you have the opportunity to go up into Lakewood and have a bunch of good eats, or you could work your way over into Crocker Park and have similar opportunities for great food. But regardless of who you are, I think this is an excellent area to end up. If you made it this far into the video, I want to say thank you. It shows that you might want to buy a home in the greater Cleveland area. And if you do, I would love to help you accomplish any goals that you have. So I invite you to reach out to me. You can find all of my contact information down in the description below, along with my social media. But if it makes it easier for you, you can call or text me here. If you find yourself down in the description, checking out my social media, make sure you click that like button because it's going to help me out a ton. But with all of that being said, I'm going to leave the video there. I will catch you in the next one.